Yeah. I'm so hey y'all, it's your bitch. And I'm It's your bitch, and I am back. All right, so hey, y'all, it's been a minute. I haven't vlogged in a while, so I gotta catch up on something because it's been a minute since the last time I vlogged. So Lee's here, she is doing. <laughs> She's look. Say hi, Bubba. Say hi, Bubba. Say hi, Bubba. Say hi, Bubba. <laughs> All right, yeah, Malia's like on the go, crawling like crazy. She wants to walk so bad. This little girl, I can't catch like little little glimpse of her like standing up for a couple minutes, for a couple seconds, not minutes, a couple seconds, and then she'll drop herself on the floor. But this girl's ready to go. Yeah, so that's new. I don't know if I told y'all. I don't know, cause I've been keeping it a little bit quiet cause you know, it's never good to talk about something unless you know it's gonna for real, for real happen. And when I say stuff, you know, people like to spread my business, especially my baby daddy. My baby daddy's my oh, biggest no. hater. So um, he'll explain all my business to bitches that don't like me. So yeah, so I just like, you know, I've been trying to keep it hush hush, but y'all, my mom is finally here. My mom is in Boston and here to stay. And she's living with me. Yes. Y'all heard it right. All those months that I was struggling by myself with a shitty ass baby daddy. I've been struggling and going through mad drama because of it. And like, my mom is here now. So I don't have to deal with nobody's bullshit. Just take care of my child when I need to go to work. Mom, can you watch my daughter? No problems, no nothing, no drama, no nothing. I am so happy, and it couldn't have come at a greater fucking time. Because let me fucking tell you, y'all. This bitch, I can't show y'all my address. I can't show y'all my address, but do y'all see that? Do you guys see that? This bitch that said she's not police. She's not police. Got a restraining order. The bitch that said she's not a cop caller. Got a restraining order back on me. But I'm not really worried because number one, even if they grant her the restraining order for a year, I don't really have a problem because I'm not fucking with my baby daddy any the fuck more. So there's no like middle person between me and her because he was the only reason that we, me and her would ever interact or it would be her trying to interact with me. I've never initiated trying to interact with her. So I'm not really worried even if the evidence that she has when we go to court, because before you get a restraining order, you have to go to court, provide evidence and say this is X and Y, Z, Y, I feel like I need a restraining order and I'm in imminent danger. I already know what she's gonna try to say. I don't really wanna say too much until after I go to court. So I'm gonna just keep it at that. So I'm just, not, I'm not really worried to be honest with you because it's just a whole bunch of bullshit. It just, just her just mad as fuck trying to be petty back. And the courts are going to see that. So yeah, I'm really not too worried. But yeah, y'all. That's really what's been going on. There's not really much else. There's something that really is crawling. My family's here. My little brother's over there. And yeah, life is good right now. I can't really fucking complain. It just sucks. Like, I just, I really thought like me having another child would be in a different situation. Being that I was friends with my baby daddy's sisters before. Granted, I mean, we ended on, on a bad note, so I didn't expect us to be the best of friends, but I just expected things to be different. And from previous situations between me and his baby mother, I just thought that they would know how the situation is and how it's going and whatever, but um they're taking her side which is fine i don't really care because i know the truth is on mine she has to lie on my name constantly she has to lie on me to try to make it seem like she's more innocent than me 
but I don't have to lie. I literally have the truth on my side. So that's just what it is. And I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm gonna keep living my life and you gonna keep being a badass bitch. And watch, you're gonna still be mad with that nigga next to you, okay? Cause I was desperate to get that nigga away from me. Cause that nigga is a headache, okay? Don't need that headache no more, but you can have it. Uh, my mom's here. I only dealt with his bullshit for so long because I needed help with my daughter. Literally, when they say that you need a village to raise a baby, it's not a fucking joke. Like, when I first had my son, I didn't realize how much help I had. Like, granted, I had my sisters and stuff. But, like, I was a teenager, so I didn't, like, register. They really helped me a lot, you know what I mean? And it took me doing this by myself again for me to truly realize. Because once I was out on my own with Josiah, Josiah was already five. No, no, no. When I first moved out, Josiah was like two, three. So things were easier. But like doing everything from birth by my fucking self. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like my, my family helped me a lot with my first born. I'm just thankful that my mom is here to help me again. And that's really that. You guys, I just did my hair. Not even two, I think two weeks ago. Maybe a little bit over two weeks and it already looks crazy. So there's that. I was sick earlier this week. So now I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but I still feel like shit. Today is actually Thanksgiving. And I decided to stay home. Yes, I did. With my little brother and Malia. And the reason why that is is because I am sick and I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't want to be truly sick and like maybe have COVID or something and then bring it to somebody's house because I didn't get tested or anything. So I don't want to be that fucking person and be sick and bring it to people. So I just decided to stay home. I mean, it would be nice for Malia to be out and about with family, but she's still young. She don't know what the fuck is going on. And my little brother said he wanted to stay here with me. So yeah, yeah, that's just what's up for today. This is the Thanksgiving for us. All right, well, thank y'all for tuning in and I'll see you later. Bye.